Hello everybody. <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys how to make a dragster. First thing you want to do is uh, zoom in. And let's leave the person there to give us a sense of scale. Your dragster is going to be 12 inches um, long and her foot is you know, say roughly about 12 inches or so. So once you kind of zoom in on it, you can actually uh, right click Let's see, use the select tool, right click on her, and go erase, and now she'll be out of the picture. Okay, so first thing um, that we're going to do is use our line tool, start from the point of origin, move along the red axis, and just move out a little bit. You're going to type on your keyboard 12, hold down the shift key so you can get the quotations, because two dashes is the symbol for, um, for inches. Now my line's not very visible, okay? So we're going to change that. And by the way, if you want to turn off your um, tool, hit the Escape key, turns it off. I want you all to go to View, Edge Style, and Profiles. That will make your line more visible. So now we have a 12-inch line. Okay. Next thing you're going to do is take your um, pencil or your line tool, and we're going to type two and three-fourths inches. So two, hit the space bar, three, slash. It's a slash that's tilting up, um, tilting forward at the top, four. Hold down the shift key to get inches for quotation marks. Enter. Again, it's two, space, three, slash, four, inches. And that's the uh, quotation marks for, for inches, okay? Hit your escape key to turn off your um, tool. Come to the front of the dragster. We're going to call this the front. We're going to call this the back. So go to the front of the dragster at the end point. Click. We want that line to be blue. And what that's going to tell us is that um, if you look at the blue um, axis over here, and if this line is blue, these two lines are parallel. So this line and this line when blue are parallel. But we want that line to be three fourths of an inch. So it's going to be three slash four inches, which is the quotation marks. Enter. It's going to pop that out exactly um, two and three fourths. Now it's a dot to dot. So click from here to the end point and voila. Okay. Hit the escape key to turn off your tool. All right. <clears throat> so now you have the basic wedge shape that you saw when we um, drew the dragster on paper. We're going to use the orbit tool. That's this one right here. And we're going to click hold your mouse button and rotate to the back side. So we were working on this, this side, which is white. We're going to rotate it over to the back side. And <clears throat> we're going to use the push-pull tool, which hopefully you've learned by now through your tutorials. Click the push-pull tool. And notice when I actually land on the object that I'm going to um, move, or push-pull in this case, it turns dotted. So we're going to click once, and then pull out. Now we're going to pull out a specific dimension, and we're going to actually type it in, because it makes it a lot easier and more precise. So you're clicking, and now I'm releasing the mouse button, and we're going for one space, one half inches enter and now um, our dragster is exactly um, uh, one and a half inches thick which is basically what you're going to get your wood's going to be um, an inch and a half thick okay because it's a um, piece of two by four okay this is what you guys have so far so we can kind of zoom in on it a little bit all right um, let's go ahead and lay out for our axles all right, so we're going to use, um, let's use the tape measure tool. Okay, so click on the tape measure tool. Go to the end point, right in the corner here. Click, and let's drag out, and, and see how the tape measure will give you measurements? Let's go, I believe it's two and three quarter, which is on the plan sheet. I don't happen to have the plan sheet with me. Um, but I do believe it's two and three quarter. Fourths. So it's two and a quarter. Um, we'll go ahead and go with two and three fourths. Click. 
click it, okay, and right there at that same point, where is it? This it says guide point. Good. Make sure it says guide point. Click and let's go up one fourth of an inch and set that line. That's going to give us a little guideline of where we're going to drill our hole. Okay, now to the front of the dragster, same thing. Click, drag in, but we're going to go an inch and a quarter. Okay. You could also um, start dragging your tape measure tool and type in one and one quarter inches, enter, and it'll pop it out for you. But I'm just showing you a couple different ways of doing it. And then we want to go up, right from that guide point. We want to go up one fourth. Are we going to be able to get that? There we go. All right, so that's where our axles are going to be. Okay, next thing we need to do is we need to lay out for the <clears throat> um, CO2 cartridge hole. Okay, let's go ahead and. Um, kind of angle it a little bit so you can see um, a little bit of the side of the dragster and let's use our tape measure tool and we want to find the exact center uh, from here to here and SketchUp makes it pretty easy because as we go along it's going to tell us midpoint as it should there we go see how it said midpoint well that's the middle so we don't even have to measure so you're going to go to the midpoint and then from the midpoint click click your um, tape measure and we're going to move up so what we're doing is we're basically measuring from the bottom of the dragster up and we want the center of our hole to be at an inch and a quarter so go ahead and set that guideline now these are just guidelines that we can erase later now let's go ahead and do this we also want to have a crosshair right so that we know where the center is. So start on this edge over here, click and move over to where it says midpoint. Hopefully, is it going to give us midpoint? Okay, there, if we go up towards the top, you can see the blue line is the midpoint, but also it's an inch and a half, and you guys should know that half of an inch and a half is three quarter. So we'll go ahead and click that. So now this is where we're gonna um, actually drill our hole and we'd be done for now, but we're going to actually, if we were going to actually drill that, but we're going to actually show the hole. Okay. So click on your circle tool. Now, for some bizarre reason, your circle tool is a different shape. You can actually change that into any shape by um, typing in the number of degrees. So if you went 180 degrees, this shape would be um, a triangle. Okay. But 360, so if it's not a circle, Actually, with the tool engaged here, type in 360, and it should turn back to a, um, to a circle, hopefully. Okay. Um, when we're drawing a circle, we need to keep something in mind. We want a three-fourths of an inch circle, and we actually want to draw that at the radius. You'll see what I'm saying. So if I drag out, and let's see, it's not telling me a dimension, so I'm just going to drag out. I'm going to type in... Um, well, if I type in three-fourths, what it's going to do is it's going to go three-fourths on one side, three-fourths on the other, and our hole's going to end up being um, an inch and a half. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I want to type in three slash four, hold down the shift key to get our quotation marks, and enter. That hole's way too big. So control Z will undo. It's a very um, important key. So what we're going to do is we're going to click out, and we're going to draw three-eighths of an inch. And that's actually going to give us a uh, circle that's three-fourths of an inch because it's going to draw three-eighths on one side, three-eighths on, three on the other. So let's go ahead and measure it. And sure enough, it is three-quarters of an inch. Okay. So that part's done. Okay. Um, so that we can actually see our hole, we're going to do something that's kind of cool in, in SketchUp. We're going to go to View, Face Style, X-Ray. So once again, let me show you that. View, face style, x-ray. And look what it does. It gives you kind of a um, transparent view of your dragster. Go ahead and angle it so you can see the end of the dragster and some of the uh, side of the dragster. And we're going to actually put...